Hi, my name is Jared, and this is Horror Obsession. The last Sunday of the month is upon us, a perfect day to go for a nice, relaxing Sunday joyride, which hopefully doesn't end with you being tormented by a sadistic madman. I said before this movie will make you think twice, or maybe even more, before picking up a hitchhiker. Today's recommendation is, of course... The Hitcher, 1986, directed by Robert Harmon and starring Rutger Hauer in the titular role. The setup to this movie is very straightforward, so let's go through it really fast. The movie starts out showing a guy, Jim, driving across the country and it's getting late. He is trying to fend off feeling tired by smoking a cigarette, drinking coffee, but after a few moments ends up losing the fight and falling asleep. He swerves slowly into the oncoming traffic lane when a semi wakes him up by honking at him just in time for him to swerve back to his lane. Terrified by the near-death experience, Jim stops to pick up a hitchhiker from the side of the road. They have some small all talk and Jim sees a car stopped on the side of the road and goes to stop, but the hitchhiker won't let him. His reason for it? Well, just listen. Was that him in the car? Yeah, I'm sure it was. Could have walked very far. Why is that? Because I cut off his legs and his arms and his head. I'm gonna do the same to you. All right, and that's the setup for The Hitcher, another classic movie from the 80s. Rutger Hauer really carries this movie with a menacing, intimidating, intelligent performance. Most horror movies live and die by the strength of their villain, and Hauer really shines by being more than just a mindless killing machine. You wouldn't think there is much room for creativity with a setup this simple, but believe me, he doesn't just kill the kid and the movie ends. The Hitcher is 97 minutes of suspenseful, razor-sharp writing with a surprising amount of cunning from both the lead guy and the hitcher, engaging in an enthralling game of cat and mouse with as many twists and turns as the roads which serve as the backdrop. The hitcher can be difficult to watch at times, as the psychological torment and feeling of inevitability present during the film will make you want to pull out your hair, but the movie is absolutely worth sticking with it till the bitter end. Driving is an iconic American expression of individualism and freedom, and horror movies like to inject culturally iconic activities with some good old-fashioned fear such as what Friday the 13th, The Burning, and Sleepaway Camp did with summer camps, then The Hitcher is the flagpole movie for making driving scenes scary. Alright, and that wraps up the recommendation for today, and check back in each day this week for another horror movie recommendation, culminating with a really fantastic Halloween movie for Saturday.